Hey guys, it's October 8th, 2021. I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop. And so today um, we're gonna do more of a show and tell style uh, live stream, a little bit different than normal. Um, as you can tell, I'm still recovering from my eye surgery. I have super um, light sensitivity and so um, most of the live, the rest of the live stream, once we go to the top camera, is just going to be top camera because um, that way um, my eyes can adjust a little bit better. But what we're going to do today is go, we're going to get to see the charity quilt for 2022. We're going to talk a little bit about the spooky box. We're going to talk about the Quilty Barn Sew Along. We're going to be raising money for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And then I'm going to show you some new quilts. So we're going to go ahead and go uh, to the top camera. And I wanted to show you that we have finally finished the Make-A-Wish Charity Quilt. So this quilt features the Beautiful Day collection by Corey Yoder. And in 2022, we're going to have eight releases. There are going to be six different blocks. You're going to make them five times each and then we're going to have a finishing section and a backing section it's going to go from february to september and we're going to have one pattern release each month instead of like this year where we did two so we're selling three different things we're selling the quilt top the backing set and then we're also going to be having an rf floss set for our cross stitchers so three different things can be reserved right now. And of course the pattern is going to be completely free. We're just gonna be asking for donations and um, we're already at 1,355, which is so awesome. So thank you everyone. Um, everybody has been asking about the fabric requirements and once we reach the goal of 20,000, we will give out those fabric requirements. Um, I did wanna show you some pictures. We, um, we granted another wish and we had kind of given you a peek uh, before, but we got some more pictures from Make-A-Wish. And so I Lee, what her wish was, was for a camper. And so in a previous video, we showed you the, um, the little parade her street had for her. So that's her and her mom and her dad. And then the next picture shows her with Tinkerbell. So she must love Tinkerbell. And then the next one is the camper. So you guys made all of that happen and she's super appreciative so what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of show you the quilt a little bit we're going to kind of move it around and show you a couple things and we are going to show you the backing so um this is a block this is a block and then so we're gonna just pull the quilt and then we're gonna show you the back also so that you can see the piece backing set. Now, of course, on any of the quilts that we offer piece backings, you can always do just a 108 or just yardage. You don't have to do the piece backing. And so as we roll the quilt, you'll just see different um, the different blocks. We are gonna be doing a photo shoot with this on Monday so that we'll update our website with, um, we'll update our website with our photo shoot and then we're gonna flip it over. And we do have a lot of quilts under here that might distract you, but it's because of my eye surgery. We're just trying to make it easy for me today. So this is our pieced backing and it's gonna be a free pattern. And you can see it's gigantic. A gigantic block which are easy to do and I'm gonna kind of show you one other thing so that's the block and then we're gonna go to the left a little bit and so I just want to show you you make the block here and then you add to the to the left and the right and then you add to the top and the bottom and that is how the charity quilt looks and then this is the binding so we made the quilt using, um, there are two backgrounds in this collection. One is kind of like an embroidery type look. And then that is what is used throughout the background. And then there is a, a white on white that is used within some of the blocks. Because we did get some questions on that. So that is our charity quilt. And um, the size of the quilt... Um, is on the website so I'm going to direct you to the website it is much bigger than last year 
and so um, it is more expensive than last year. It's in the 70 to 80 range. Um, just look on the website. And um, we have a question on if the charity quilt is good for beginners. I would say it definitely is because most of the piecing is corner squares. And with the corner squares, if you want to use um, Doug Lico's ruler, he has a ruler that um, will help with that. And we'll kind of talk about that in the different videos. And then um, we're gonna kind of tease the quilty, quilty spooky box. So you guys have been asking for so many months, like months and months and months, where's the spooky box? Where's the spooky box? So we actually released it last week and I wasn't here last week, so I couldn't tell you about it. We only have a couple hundred left. So if you're kind of on the fence, um, you want to buy it. We started shipping this out today. So if you buy it now, it'll go out early next week. And um, this is just a tease of what the box looks like. This is a tease of the backing. And so if you can figure out what fabric the backing is from, then you can figure out what fabric is in the box. Of course, it's a mystery. But I do want to show you one thing that we put in the box that I think is going to make it kind of... Um, a must-have so we came up with this little thread coffin and it is so cute um, so it's got cute stuff on the front I mean of course that'll eventually be a cross stitch pattern and then this is the inside <clears throat> and you can put your R floss spools you could put R fill spools you could put DMC you could put scissors so we made it where it is very friendly for all type of notions and it, it it's a magnet. And the only way to get this box is in the spooky box. In fact, I want one of these boxes and the only way I can get it is to buy the spooky box. So I might be buying the spooky box today. Um, so uh, Marge had asked what color thread Gina used to quilt the heart quilt. What we will do is we're gonna get that color from Gina and when we do a blog post on the charity quilt, we will include that and we are going to do the blog post after we do the photo shoot. And since the quilt just got finished, um, that's why we don't have a blog, po blog post yet. And um, the charity quilt will be completely free quilting and cross stitch. It will start in February of 2022. Um, social lights for next year will be starting in the fall so it will start after the charity quilt and um, I'm gonna move on to our quilty barn sew along so quilty barn sew along um, we have a quilt behind me that we'll pull off the table and we'll pull off the wall and show you but what i wanted to show you was the um <laughs> sorry I'm getting funny looks um so the quilty barn so along was something that lori came up with because she just came out with a new cross stitch pattern that kind of goes along with it so we thought we would do like a a sew along where you could quilt or you could cross stitch or you could do both. So I'm going to explain exactly how, um, how this works. So one thing that Lori, um, is into is being the boss of your own quilt and being the boss of your own cross stitch. So when she designs all of her items, she likes to use where you can mix and match the books and mix and match her fabrics. So in her book, Farm Girl Vintage, she has several barn quilts. So the first one is the Quilty Barn and she based the cross stitch, I'm gonna show you in a little bit on this. And in Farm Girl Vintage, there are instructions for a regular barn and a silo barn. Here are pictures of the regular barn. 
And then over here is the silo barn. And so what Lori and I decided to do was we're going to show you the silo barn from the original quilt. We're going to show you other quilts from the original quilt. And then we're going to show you one that we kitted up. And um, just so you know, you can put different six inch blocks within the silo barn. And that is what we did. So I'm going to show you um, kind of how we did that. Now, you can use any of the blocks from the Farm Girl Vintage Block book, or you can use books blocks from Spelling Bee, Farm Girl Vintage 2, and Vintage Christmas. And so that is the point of her books, is where you can mix and match. Like you could do all of the blocks from this book and put them in this setting. You can do any of the blocks from this book and put it in this setting or different settings from each book. So she's always mixing and matching. But I'm gonna show you the kit that we came up with and it does use several of the books. So you can download this on our blog and it tells you that if you wanna make this quilt, which I made and Lori colored it for me, you would obviously use from the Farm Girl Vintage book the setting for this and then in the different books I used uh, the Farm Girl Vintage book, the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book, and the Vintage Christmas book. But you could just use the Farm Girl Vintage book and just pick four blocks from that. And we do list for you what we used and we do have a kit. Now once these kits are gone we're probably not going to be able to recut them. So if you're wanting to get uh, the Kimberly Silo Barn Fabric Kit, you wanna get that today. And um, the background that I used is this pink B cross stitch. And so I'm gonna show you in detail all of the blocks because I know that I've got some questions on that. So this is the updated quilt. I did use pink large vintage trim. Gina did that for me and she added the binding and I think I used a different backing than, than is listed and the reason why the backing that Lori picked for this is 108 inch wide and it is not in stock yet. So we're gonna show each block. So this is one of the blocks. This is another block and on that sheet of paper it will tell you the name of the block, the name of the book, and the page number to go to. And then we'll show up close the next two. So here, and then of course, all of this is listed on that piece of paper. And this is my border. This is my Rick Rack. And then um, it lists all of these SKUs and there are photos. Um, I'm gonna show you the backing that I did. I did do a pieced backing. I did this quite a while ago, so I actually have a hard time remembering. So on this, what I ended up doing was I put one of the Sweetwater labels in the center, and then I just randomly cut little pieces that I had left over. I needed to get this to be a certain size because what I did was I added fabric to the top and the bottom and then to the side and so I needed to get this big enough because I only had enough fabric to do this so I kind of figured out what fabric I had left over and um, figured out how to make this and I also wanted it to kind of stand out I wanted my I wanted my um, label to be sewn in and I wanted to use fabric from the front also on the back so that is how I came up with that. So this is my, my silo barn quilt. That does use the stitch collection and it does use the um, B cross stitch fabric for the background. And I wanna show, I'm gonna show you this one. This is the original quilt from the book. So and I'm gonna show you, this is all scraps. So Lori made this one, and so she used scraps. She used her fabric, other, like this is a different designer's fabric. So what's great about this is you can see that this quilt 
still was 2013. We're now eight years later, made a totally different quilt, and it's very similar. And these are these are blocks from the Farm Girl Vintage book. So you do only have to buy one book. You could just put these blocks in and just recolor it with the same fabric from the kit. And then this is the top row. And on this one, you'll notice her windows, she did different colors, but then on the silo barn, we did gray windows. And then this is her backing. It's just a plain backing, it's not pieced or anything. And on this one, she did use a thicker batting. So when I touch this quilt, I can tell it's a thicker batting and you can just kind of tell from the quilting, but she did use a thicker batting on this one. So there is that that you can do for the Quilty Barn Sew Along. Now the Quilty Barn Sew Along is just where when this month and next month we're just doing a Quilty Barn Sew Along with Lori and um, the quilts that we're featuring are the ones that I just showed you. And of course you can switch out these six inch blocks from different blocks in different books. And um, you can stitch any of the quilts. You can just do a block, you can do a table runner, um, but be the boss of your own quilt. So this next quilt we're gonna show you is going to be the... The Quilty Barn quilt. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, this is the right side of the quilt. She used this binding. This is from Sew Cherry from years and years and years ago. And I do think this has a piece backing, so we're gonna show that. But what we're gonna do is just pull the quilt and show you the right side, and then we'll show you the left side. And you can see, when you look at this quilt, it is all scrappy. This is not one fabric collection. This is lots of fabric designers, lots of fabric manufacturers. And the one thing that she did put together is she put together the Lori Holt Red Sampler Bundle and she put that together in the summer to go with her Red Sampler Sew Along. But when she did that, she thought this would work great if you wanted to have all red barns. So we have those back in stock. And you'll notice that all of these barns she has are red. So that red bundle is meant for either of the Sew Alongs that she hosted. So what Lori is always doing is she is always coming up with ways to reuse her designs and use leftover fabrics on future designs. And you can see this is all scrappy. And we will show the backing also. She has a cute backing. Y'all are going to love it. And by looking at this, you can see how she has different six inch blocks in each. Okay, so now we're going to turn it over. And look at her awesome backing. So she pieced this. Now these blocks are in the book. And then she pieced little chicken. These are little chickens to the side and then to the top and the bottom. And um, this is one of her B basics. These are random scraps. And then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go to the left a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna pull and then you can see we might uh, zoom in so you can see her writing. And the tractor is in the Farm Girl Vintage book. And so it says the, let me see, sorry. So she just wrote it with a pen and then she um, stitched on top of it. So she embroidered it, The Quilty Barn Along by Lori Holt of BMI Bonnet 2013. So here we are eight years later showing the same quilt because quilts live on and you can always redo them. And this is all pieced. The block is all pieced and the, this is a stem stitch that you can do on your sewing machine. 
And then the bottom, she also just circled. Um, she just put a little ring around the tractor with um, more pinwheels. So that is that quilt. And so I would love to answer any questions you guys have on either the charity or the Quilty Barn um, Sew Along. And um, I'm also going to show you some cross stitch in one second. So Doug says, welcome back. So thank you, Doug. And this, now you just saw the quilt. This is the cross stitch that she based on her original quilt design. And we are having a cross stitch along with this also. And you can find that, all the information on that on our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube channel. And so this pattern comes with that and also these two patterns and she has uh, stitch cards and those stitch cards will fit within each of these little holes so it's very similar to her book so you can plug and play it's kind of she calls it mix and match I call it plug and play and um, I'm always looking for thicker batting. What kind would you recommend? I would be careful with wool batting because some wool batting cannot be used in a washer and dryer. So I would kind of maybe talk to your quilter. I definitely wouldn't do 100% poly because I think that might be too thick. Um, and the setting pattern for the barn quilt can be found in the Farm Girl Vintage book. And um, Benita is asking if there is an aesthetic difference when placing borders on the side first or the top and bottom. Um, I've received that question a lot, and most, most quilters add the borders to the sides and then the top and the bottom. But honestly, when it's quilted, I don't know if you really see a difference. So I think it's personal choice. It also might depend on how much yardage you have in stock actually so now we're gonna move on to something else that I'm very proud to be a part of we are um, featuring breast cancer awareness month and in honor of breast cancer awareness month we are inviting you to join us in supporting the National Breast Cancer Foundation we have joined by Annie, and if you don't know who by Annie is, she is an awesome designer of notions and patterns that go with bags, and she is by far the best bag pattern designer out there. So um, we're joining her for her annual So Pink Initiative blog hop to raise awareness and fundraiser for NBCF. One in eight women in the U.S. will develop breast cancer in your lifetime, so it's important to stay current with your self-exams and your mammograms, so make sure to always get yourself checked annually. And the National Breast Cancer Foundation provides early detection, education, and support services. So we're offering a free pattern called Healing Hearts. And here's the pattern. And we're encouraging you to donate, if you can, now through October 31st on our fundraiser that we have linked below. And um, so far we've raised $454. We're trying to get to $10,000. Now, from our customers, we really only need to get to $5,000 because Kevin and I are going to donate $5,000. And I guess if we don't raise a lot from you guys, we're just gonna get to $10,000 somehow. So we'll make the difference. So we're gonna donate $5,000 no matter what. But if we only raise $1,000 from you guys, then we'll donate $9,000. So I wanted to show you these pillows. So anytime you see a quilt pattern, you can always do a small version. So you can make this a tabletop. You can make it a table runner that just goes horizontally. And Angel, who is one of our Fat Quarter Shop staffers, made these awesome pillows using the brand new Sincerely Yours fabric by Sh Sherry and Chelsea. And that fabric did finally come out this week. And Gina quilted these. 
And we also did something fun on the backing of these pillows and we put all the information on how we um, how we did these um, pillow backings on our blog. We're also going to be giving away a $150 gift certificate to one lucky winner. So definitely go to our blog for more details. But more importantly than that, if you can donate, please donate to our fundraiser. We have it set up where the fundraiser goes directly to NBCF, National Breast Cancer Foundation, and um, that's where we will be writing our check. And we are giving you this free pattern. And now I'm gonna show you, and, and this week you'll probably notice that I'm not showing you any of my work in progresses. And the reason why is I can't see. <laughs> um, let's be real. So I can't um, see great. So um, I'm hoping by next week I will be able to show you some progress. Um, but I'm just, um, I guess taking it day by day. So I wanted to show you um, a couple of new kits so that you get to at least see some quilts. But I did also want to show you a new collection that came in that I am very excited about and I am going to purchase. So Riley Blake came up with this awesome idea. I'm gonna just go ahead and open this. Sorry. They came out with this idea and I think it's super, um, super creative. And with that idea, they're gonna also do it in future collections. So what they did is they started with this collection. It's called Hush Hush and it's backgrounds. And I'm gonna buy it because who doesn't need more backgrounds, right? I always am looking for good backgrounds. Each of their design, not each of their designers, but they have a different designer for each SKU. And what we did is we put on our website who designed what SKU. I'm gonna show you all of them. And I just really like this collection, so I wanted to feature it. And we just went through and specifically added every single designer so you would know. And the reason we did that is, of course, when this came in, I wanted to buy Lori's. And I was like, well, which one is Lori's? So, and you'll see some of these are, this one is so awesome. This is a measuring tape. Uh, some of these are busier. Some of these are less busy. I would consider all of these low volume. This is my favorite one. This one is also awesome. I'm gonna show it to you. This would make a great backing. So again, this collection is called Hush Hush and it is by Riley Blake Designs. And what's really cool is if you're making a block and you need, you know, you want it to be all scrappy, you could just buy this piece. And then if you're making a really small block, just cut like two and a half inch or two inch squares from the different fabrics. So this one is uh, definitely a must have. I think it'll make a great backing. It's kind of like little patchwork. And then they, these are kitties. And these are flamingos. So I bet Flamingo Toes designed this. This has words, and I'm just going to be totally honest and tell you that I cannot see good enough to uh, tell you what to say. <laughs> Butterflies. And then these are zigzag stitches, and this is Lori's print. So, of course, I'm going to buy a bunch of this. But this, of course, is all Lori's colors. That would make a great backing. So I'm going to buy a bunch of this one so that I have it and florals, a tri-dot, bows, houses. And this one is more of an 1800s reproduction. So I just wanted to show it to you. Of course, if you're looking for a background and you like hearts, you could just buy yardage of this or you could buy pre-cuts. Um, but I do love this collection. Now their next collection is gonna be, they're gonna do another one of these and it's all reds. So when we get those, I will bring those. And I did want to show and say every designer's name, but because I'm having, um, I'm just recovering from eye surgery, I just can't see that great. So next time we can list all of the designer names. 
And this is a half yard bundle of all of it that we cut here. They also have put together a fat quarter bundle that is by Riley Blake. There are also roly polies. And then they did something different with this collection. They made one yard bundles and they named them ABC. So like you could pick, I'm not even sure which one this one is, but they did three different one yard bundles so that if you wanted to get one yard pieces, you wouldn't have to buy all of them if you didn't want to. And of course, they also have 10 inch squares and five inch squares, so that's a ton of fun. And I wanted to give a big thank you to Valeria Bauer because she gave us a super chat this week and last week. I did want a big, also give a big thank you to Vanessa Gertzen. She um, handled last week's live stream like a pro. Um, and I couldn't have scheduled that any better because there is about a 0% chance that I could have done it last week. So um, I am going to answer some questions. Oh, Lori says good morning. Um, and um, someone is asking when the Sincerely Yours quilt kit will ship. I actually don't know. We bought that pre-made from Moda. I'm not sure if it has arrived yet. Um, and someone is asking if the heart pillow is coral or more of a pink. So one of them is, let's see. So this one is definitely pink. But that collection has purples, corals, pinks, and the pinks vary. So I would consider this pink. And then this is definitely purple. Um, Chantel says that she starches her fabric like Kimberly, but does not know about the backing. Does she let that drip dry too? Yes, so what I do is I will starch it and then lay it out just not, not doubled up. I will unfold it and lay it like singularly and just put it over a huge drying rack and it does take a while to um, dry. Yeah, I agree. Sue, Vanessa was great. Um, Kim said, how do you decide what color fabric when you want to make a quilt? I'm having trouble how to decide. So with that, I would say find one fabric collection that you absolutely love and just start there. And just pick a background from that collection and then pick the fabrics you like from that collection. And then if there's not enough, move to combining collections but when i first started quilting i always used the same collection for the quilt and i never mixed collections and the reason why is because it was just easier and i knew it all matched so that might be a good way to just start um and for the charity sew along do we donate to reserve the pattern well we just have a donation page and we just um kind of do the honor system and hope that uh, you donate um, whatever you can and we um, we suggest $50 for the quilt pattern and $20 for the cross stitch pattern and um, Yuma is asking if there's a video on how to make the pillows uh, no but we have uh, information on the blog on how to do that and someone is asking what starch I use and I have shown it a couple times we can Amazon link it but it is a it is a um, faultless, no, it is a Niagara. It's, uh, let me, it's a faultless. It's a faultless starch. And um, Gloria is asking if any, if any of you have done the So Happy Quilt and Stitch Along. So definitely let them know. And that is also a quilt and cross stitch along. I am doing both. And um, if you want to see my progress on the cross stitch, just go to our floss tube channel. And the quilt, I have sewn everything except the sewing machine, and that will be done um, the second that um, I can see again. And will there be a silo cross stitch? There is a silo cross stitch, I'll show it to you. So this is the, the floss that I use. And um, can I see the big one too? So this is the silo cross stitch. It's in the pattern. And if you wanna put it into the big setting, all you have to do is the same dimension. So it's the same dimensions for the barn and the silo barn. So you could do like five barns and then four silo barns 
or you could do all silo barns. So it is truly a mix and match. I just completed piecing Sunday Stroll pattern with Sunday Stroll. Any suggestions for a quilting design? Um, I would just kind of look at the quilts we're about to show for inspiration. And of course your long arm quilter um, will always give suggestions if they're a good long armor. They, sh they usually have a good feel because they do it daily. They have a good feel for what will look good. Because there's been times I've suggested things to different long armors and they say, oh, um, no, that's bad. Um, what's the answer on that? Okay, on the Lori's enamel tractor charm, we're still waiting on an answer, but we definitely will give you an answer. And um, someone is asking when the block of the month for 2022 is coming out. I'm assuming you mean designer mystery, and we are working on that. It will not be out until um, like October, November for pre-sale. Um, so that one is not designed all the way yet. Um, and then someone is asking what what we mounted those on. And I think that was, I think those are thrifted for, I think those are thrifted. I think those are, it's on the pattern. So just go ahead if you want to know which, um, what we mounted those cross stitches on. Lori did those and she gave us the SKU numbers and we listed that on the pattern. Um, Marcia is asking, will my favorite white on white dot fabric be available again? Yes, it will be. And so if you go to the website, search 20708-36, and then in there, just go ahead and put your email address, and then you'll be notified when it comes. That is a special print that we reprinted. So that's kind of one of those things where you reprint and it comes when it comes. It doesn't have like a specific date because they put it on the boat with other collections. Um, and thank you to Randy E for the super chat. So now I'm gonna kind of go through and just show you some new quilts. Um, since I wasn't able to stitch the last three weeks, um, I'm gonna show you quilt kits that we're offering so that you still get inspiration for quilts. So this is Lori Holt's Simple Stitch Quilt. And the pattern for this was designed by Lori and it's only available in the Jolly Bar. And so this is our binding that she selected and then this is the backing and the pattern is only available in the jolly bar and again that's called Lori simple stitch quilt this next one is called from small things it is also a jolly bar design so if you ever see anything that's a jolly bar design it's only the pattern comes free and the jolly bar and um, these are acorns. And this is the Cozy Up Collection by Cory Yoder. And I'll show you the border and the backing that we used. And this next one, we're so proud of and so honored to work with Pat Sloan. So Pat really wanted to do a fall sew along. And so she asked us to color um, the pumpkins and, pumpkins and Blooms collection by Fig Tree in this. And so we have the exclusive kit. The pattern is designed by Joanna Figueroa and it is packaged when you buy it like a block of the month. So in each little bag, there are sections that tell you exactly what goes where. So we're gonna actually show, I'm gonna show all of it. Sorry, we'll go. And then we'll pull this way. And these are buttons that we sewed on. They do not come in the kit. They are just another button buttons and we just put them in um, on after the quilting is done. And I believe that Gina quilted this one. And I believe that Nova pieced it. And you'll also notice on this one, I have not, um, this week, just so you guys know, I'm not saying everyone's name who pieced and who quilted, and it's because my eyes, um, I can't really read that great right now, so I'm doing a little bit less this week, but I'm not trying to not give anybody credit. I'm just trying to make sure I can get through the live stream, to be honest. 
So this one is going to be a, it's a quilt kit, and it is going to have a sew along that is hosted by Pat Sloan, which is I love to make quilts.com, and she has lots of presence on YouTube and Facebook. So you'll want to follow her. And this is the backing that we put on. And this is a 12119 dash. I can't remember. We'll have to, but I do know it's uh, one of the cross weaves by Moda. Um, someone is asking if we're going to get the Country Cottage Needleworks greetings from the North Pole. Yes. And what you do is go on our website and click to be notified. And when it comes in, we'll ship it. But definitely don't buy it from anywhere else. I mean, really, no way. Um, someone is asking if the Jolly Bar is big enough to make the silos. I don't think it is. This next quilt is rather thick and large. So we're just going to show a portion of it so that I don't strain my eyes. We'll kind of start here and we're gonna just pull it off. Pull it and then pull it back. So there, that's the inner border and the outer border you can see. And then we're just gonna kind of pull it. It's too heavy and I can't have too much um, weight right now. But this is called Comfort and Joy. And it is, the collection is called Holiday Homies and it's Tula Pink and it's flannel. And so we have this quilt. And so sometimes, oh, and on the back, and um, someone quilted this and sent it to us. This is the sample actually made by uh, Free Spirit. So they put cotton on the back, which I found interesting. And the quilting is, um, it's kind of a bigger quilting and it uses a variegated thread. And so it's all stars and houndstooth. and it's pretty big. And then the next quilt is called Mini Cake Mints. This is a completely free pattern featuring Red Barn Christmas by Sweetwater and Moda. And we have, of course, a free video and a free pattern. And um, now the kits are in stock. So sometimes you'll notice throughout the last 18 months, we have sometimes released videos much earlier than the fabric came in. And that is because when we plan our year, we plan our year out with every video and a lot of the fabric has been delayed, but we decided to just keep our video schedule the same. And then as um, the fabric came in, the kits would kind of follow. And this one's very easy. So if you're looking for something beginner, this would be great. And this would also make a great crib quilt. Like if you have a, a upcoming baby, this would make a great quilt. And it uses a mini charm packs. This next quilt is called On a Winter's Day. And it is like a huge star, like here. But then, um, there are star points out here too. So we'll kind of pull it in a second. Um, this, let's see, this is a quilt kit. And so you can see kind of the top and then we'll show the star and the border. So that's kind of the inner border and that's the outer border. And this is our backing. And so this is a Moda quilt kit and it's called On a Winter's Day. So we'll just pull it and um, we'll just show both sides. So this one I would say is for people who love stars and it's not too hard. It is a lot of um, bias edges, but they are bigger. Okay, this is a It's So Emma pattern designed by Angel. This next one, um, I'll just show you the border and the binding and the quilt is all repetitive so it's all the same look this one is called linden borrow the fabric is maria sky by betsy chutchen and if you are somebody who likes reproduction this quilt would be awesome for you and today we made sure to show stuff that was modern traditional all kinds of different looks so there's got to be something here that um, you will love 
And this last quilt is called Fat Eighth Flapjack. And this is a shortcut quilt that is a 100% free pattern and free video. And the collection is Ladybird by Crystal Manning. This is a very beginner friendly quilt. And on the border, we just added a Bella solid and a binding. And then this is our backing. And then I'm gonna, this is the last quilt we're gonna show. And then I'm going to just take a couple more questions um, cause um, my eyes hurting a little bit and um, the lights are pretty bright. So um, we did get a question on if we're getting more pumpkin and blossom white dot on white and that is now discontinued, so no. Um, Scrap Fair says, please tell Kimberly she's doing awesome and we love her and we're praying for her healing. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I just cannot wait to get better. Um, I have compared the pain of this to childbirth. So it's been um, quite the interesting last few weeks. Um, Catherine said on the designer mystery quilt along, have you given any thought to doing a modern design as an alternate offering like you did for Summer Moon? Um, no, on the designer mystery, we have to keep that very, very simple because we, um, we cut a lot of those and so we have to only really offer one, but we do have so many uh, modern options. Can simple stitch be starched? I don't think so. Um, Susan said, I just received the first block of the month for Christmas Among the Stars. Is there enough fabric to starch? Yes. And then the question keeps going and it says, will you be um, discussing it in Friday videos? No, on that one, I'm not. Um, I'm not, but that is a very beginner friendly, um, very beginner friendly um, quilt. Is there going to be a Christmas box? Yes. Am I doing virtual quilt retreats? No, I mean, that would be a great idea. And it might be something we do, but I would say 2023 or 2024. Um, Marple would like to know how to order a bolt of fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you email elva at fatquartershop.com and she will give you more information. And guys, I think that's about as much as I can do today. Um, I was so happy to be back and so happy to be here and hoping to get better so that we can go back to our normal live streams. Everyone have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.